The Complete Guide to MTI Application in Internal Medicine by Medical ICT Solutions Hello and welcome to our channel, Medical ICT Solutions. Today we are bringing you The Complete Guide to Medical Training Initiative Application in Internal Medicine. If you're looking to apply for MTI in internal medicine and want to know more about the application process, then you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll take you through each stage of the application process, including setting up an account with the Royal College of Physicians portal, eligibility criteria, and each stage of the application itself. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what you need to do to submit a successful application for the MTI program. So, let's get started. Set up an account with Royal College of Physicians portal and login. The first step is to set up an account with the Royal College of Physicians portal. It's an easy process, and you need to fill in your personal details and create a login ID and password. Once you have created an account, you can log in and access the MTI application portal. Eligibility. To be eligible for the Medical Training Initiative MTI, application in internal medicine, you must meet certain criteria, including 1. Nationality. If you hold dual citizenship, you need to select the nationality you will use to enter the UK. 2. Medical practice. You must have been in clinical practice for at least three out of the last five years, including the 12 months before GMC registration approval. 3. Language proficiency. You need to demonstrate proficiency in English language either by scoring a minimum of 7.0 in all categories and minimum 7.5 overall in the IELTS exam or achieving a grade of B in all categories in the OET exam. 4. PLAB. You need to indicate whether you have taken any parts of the Professional and Linguistic Assessments Board PLAB, examination. 5. NHS job. You must have been offered a job in NHS which the hospital is willing to convert to an MTI post. In Stage 1 of the Medical Training Initiative MTI, application process for internal medicine, the following steps are involved. 1. Entry Visa. You must select the type of visa you intend to enter the UK with, mostly the Tier 5 visa. 2. GMC Registration. You must tick the box if you require support from the Royal College of Physicians RCP, for General Medical Council GMC, registration. 3. Current Post. You must provide details of the post in the UK you will be coming to. 4. Supervisor. You must provide as much information as possible about the doctor who will be supervising you during the training. 5. Medical Staffing. You must provide the Human Resources HR, contact at the hospital. 6. Grade. You must select the relevant grade of the position you will be working in. 7. If you are unsure of the exact level, you can choose CMT, Core Medical Training, or St. 3 Plus, which covers all specialty training levels. 7. Funding. You must indicate the amount you will be paid by the National Health Service, NHS, Trust or the funding you will be receiving, and it must be in pounds sterling, pound. 8. Funding Source. You must choose the relevant body that is providing your funding. 8. You cannot fund your placement using your personal savings. 9. CV and PPE Form. You should download the Curriculum Vitae, CV and Professional Postgraduate Experience PPE, form from the RCP website. In Stage 2, your MTI application is established. You will be required to provide evidences of your eligibility. To complete this stage, you will need to provide the following documents. 1. Application Form 2. Sponsor Form This form should be completed by your head of department or your current supervisor in your current employment outside of the UK. 3. Two referee forms. You will need to provide two reference forms, one of which must be completed by your previous employer if you have changed jobs within the last three years. 4. Cover letters. Both your sponsor and referee must provide a brief covering letter that serves as an introduction and endorsement of you professionally. 4. The letter should be signed and stamped by your sponsor, referee and presented on the official letterhead of the institution that employs them. 5. Primary Medical Qualification PMQ. This refers to your medical degree, e.g. MBBS, MBCHB, MD. 6. PMQ GMC Verified Please leave this field blank. 6. However, 
Note that you need to submit your PMQ for verification by ECFMG, EPIC, as soon as possible. 7. Internship. This document should detail the completion of your internship, practical training or housemanship. 8. Postgraduate Qualification, PGQ. This refers to any postgraduate qualifications you have, such as any parts of the MRCP, MD, MMED, or membership or fellowship of a medical college. 9. IELTS or OET. Please upload a copy of the official certificate. 10. Acceptance of funding. 11. Passport. Please upload the passport you expect to enter the UK with. 12. Certificate of Good Standing, CGS. This refers to a certificate issued by the regulatory body in your country. 13. CGS Date. This is the date on which the CGS was issued. Please note that an initial payment of £125 is required to complete this stage of the application. Stage 3 and 4. Stage 3 and 4 of the Medical Training Initiative MTI, application involves assessing documents from the trusts. You, as the applicant, do not need to do anything during this stage other than remind your trusts to submit the required documents. During this stage, the documents submitted by the trusts will be reviewed to determine if they meet the requirements for the MTI program. This includes verifying that the trust has appropriate training and supervision in place for the MTI trainee and that the proposed training program meets the standards set by the Royal College of Physicians in the UK. Once all required documents have been received and reviewed, the MTI program team will notify you of the outcome of the assessment. If your application is successful, you will be invited to proceed to the next stage of the application process, which involves obtaining a visa and arranging travel to the UK. Stage 5 of the Medical Training Initiative MTI, application involves preparing for your arrival in the UK. To do this, please take note of the following. 1. Read your acceptance letter. Make sure you have read and understood the acceptance letter that was sent to you, as it provides details about the next steps in the application process. 2. Review the welcome pack. The welcome pack contains useful information about working and living in the UK. 3. Apply for GMC registration. If applicable, you will need to start your General Medical Council GMC, online application. 3. This is a requirement for all doctors who wish to practice in the UK. 4. Pay the RCP appointment fee. You will need to pay the Royal College of Physicians RCP, appointment fee of £725. 4. This fee covers the cost of the RCP's assessment of your training program and the issuing of a certificate of completion at the end of your training. Stage 6 of the Medical Training Initiative MTI, application involves completing the necessary steps to obtain General Medical Council GMC, registration. 1. Forward GMC email requesting documents Once you have started your GMC registration process, you will receive an email requesting certain documents. 1. You will need to forward this email to mti at rcplundon.ac.uk and the RCP will send the required documents to the GMC on your behalf. 2. Complete GMC ID check invite email. After you have submitted your documents, you will receive an email inviting you to complete an ID check. 2. You will need to forward this email to MTI at rcplundon.ac.uk as well, so that the RCP can verify your identity. By completing these steps, you will be on your way to obtaining GMC registration, which is a requirement for all doctors who wish to practice in the UK. Stage 7 of the Medical Training Initiative MTI, application involves the request for a Tier 5 Certificate of Sponsorship. This certificate is required for non-EEA nationals to obtain a visa to work in the UK. The MTI program team will request a Tier 5 Certificate of Sponsorship on your behalf. You will need to provide them with the required information, such as your passport details and your intended dates of travel to the UK. Once the certificate is issued, it will be sent to you or your sponsor. Stage 8 of the Medical Training Initiative MTI, application involves entering your confirmed start and end dates for your training program. This information is important for the MTI program team to coordinate your placement and for you to plan your travel and accommodation arrangements. Once you have received confirmation of your start and end dates from your sponsoring trust, you will need to enter this information into the MTI application portal. It is important that you enter the correct dates and update the portal if there are any changes to your start or end dates. 
In addition to entering your confirmed start and end dates, you may also be asked to provide additional information or documentation, such as proof of your visa, travel arrangements, or accommodation. It is important to provide this information promptly and accurately to ensure a smooth transition into your training program. Conclusion Thank you for watching The Complete Guide to Medical Training Initiative Application in Internal Medicine. We hope this video has provided you with a detailed understanding of the MTI application process. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content like this, and if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.